Police officers and firefighters participate in the sutra adaptation at Hainan's Year and Blessing Ceremony. A Taichung City volunteer dedicates herself to the city's mission serving disadvantaged children and seniors. Welcome to the Headlines, I'm Siri Su, thank you for joining us. Dama Master Zheng Yin has joined another year and blessed ceremony at the Tainan Jing Si Hall. At this ceremony, 60 police officers and firefighters took part in a sutra adaptation. One of the police officers is joining the sutra adaptation for the second time. And this year, he has even invited his wife to come along as well. The young members of the drum team strike the bells and drums in a stunning performance at the Tainan Jing Si Hall. Next, the Dai mothers and members of Tsuji's police association, who have formed the Dhamma boat, lead the recycling volunteers to make sincere vow together. Dama Master Zheng Yen encourages the nearly 500 people in the audience to exercise their goodwill. Her words have really encouraged everyone who has practiced hard for this occasion. We watch the videos on Dai TV's website. We practice by ourselves during our spare time. The police officers had to learn the sutra verses first before practicing the sign language gestures. After they decided to join the sutra adaptation back in early December of last year, the practices had helped them calm their mind. After calming myself, I feel the peace of mind. I can be mindful and not have frivolous thoughts. As a family member of a police officer, I am happy to see them, able to find a peace of mind here. As policemen, they have to deal with many high-stress situations on a daily basis. The police officer is participating in the sutra adaptation for the second time. This year, he brought his wife. They seized this opportunity to both cultivate their minds and grow together. Every year, city volunteers deliver winter supplies to local residents across China. For the past 10 years, city volunteers have assisted around 70,000 impoverished households in Fujian province. This year, the volunteers have delivered love and care in a total of 11 townships within two days. <laughs> it's 5.30 in the morning and still dark outside. However, Quanzhou City volunteers are already on their way to deliver care and love for the residents. <laughs> Since 2009, the volunteers have provided winter necessities for the local residents at the end of the year. Around 70,000 households with difficulties were benefited from the past 10 years. I was talking to the local residents. They said that the atmosphere was warm and touching. Besides receiving supplies, they can feel the kindness and a sense of belonging as well. This year, the biggest event in Quanzhou was held in Honglai Township. More than 300 volunteers were mobilized to assist at the venue. For people with disabilities or those who live far away, the volunteers have helped them to bring the supplies home. <laughs> I've never met someone like you. Besides giving me supplies, you also give me support. All of you were very kind to me. This has never happened before. We can see the volunteers' footprints in places that need help. In Huangtang Township, the volunteers visited the Chen family as they were the first household to receive winter necessities. Today we represent Dharma Master Zheng Yan and the volunteers from around the world wishing your family peace and harmony. As the volunteers were worried about the health of the parents, they especially asked the son to take a good care of his mother, who has mental disabilities.
。妈妈不会照顾自己，你要照顾她。My family has encountered such a big challenge since you was there to help us. We're very grateful. <laughs> For 10 years, the volunteers continuously give their love and care to the Chen family. After seeing the smiles on their faces, we know that love was successfully delivered. Stay in China, three volunteers visited Jingdou and Dongtian townships in Quanzhou for the first time. One local resident remarked that the volunteers have brought love and hope to people in need. Let's take a look. Warmth is felt here in the winter. Tsuji is giving out winter supplies in Jingdou and Dongtian townships in Quanzhou for the first time. They brought warmth to impoverished people in Jingdou township and gave them hope. They now know people still care about them. Tsuji K recipient Xu Yichun, who has heart disease and spinal curvature, has been helping out for two years. Tsuji has helped me find my value in life. I realized that I can also help other people. Turning from a receiver to a giver, I started a new chapter of my life. I feel very happy and spiritually healthy. Volunteers accompany the solitary blind senior to return to his home in the mountainous regions. The senior expresses his gratitude through the Erhu performance. Also in China, city volunteers have spread warmth and compassion to Jilin during this cold winter. City volunteers who joined the effort came from as far away as Malaysia and Taiwan to provide help. The cold temperature did not stop the volunteers from caring for the impoverished households and helping the local scholarship recipients. Despite the heavy snow and low temperatures, Zhiji volunteers spread warmth in this cold winter in Jilin province. Scholarship recipient Su Nan's parents divorced, leaving this child to live with grandparents. There were some factors which led me to live with my grandparents. I grew up with them and it didn't affect me at first, but when I went from elementary school and junior high school, I became nervous about my family situation. This meant that I did not want to have any contact with strangers. I met Grandpa Du when Tsuji made their first home visit to us. He was very sincere and showed that there were some strangers who were really concerned about me. Scholarship recipient Wang Guotao's mother braves the cold weather and waits for volunteers at the door. I feel that I am very lucky that I was born into this family. Even though I have no father, I don't lack love because I have a mother. Also, I still have sister and my grandmother. These households and remote areas are steadily falling behind as volunteers are working hard to care for them, even bringing their own food to eat in the van. They hope that during this cold winter, a little bit of love and compassion warms their hearts. In Shenzhen, the Sun family live in a small house with less than ideal living conditions. So the volunteers have been caring for this family ever since September of 2018. 
As the Chinese Lunar New Year is approaching, the volunteers gave it a grand gift, which is a new home. The small room is cluttered with miscellaneous items. It's hard to imagine that Sun Yuqiao and her family of three lives here. Ciji volunteers still remember their first visit to this family. Due to lack of space, the father has to sleep outside. He would sleep on the deck chair or even on the carport on the street. There isn't enough space for him to rest. As the Chinese New Year arrives, Sun Zhen Ciji volunteers decided to give the family an unexpected gift, which is a new home. Everyone had gathered to help with the cleaning and moving. The new home is more spacious than the old one. Now the family can finally sleep inside the house during this cold weather. I felt very happy. I am also glad that I can help them improve their living conditions. I'm grateful that you came to help us. You see, I'm holding up my tears and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Besides Ciji volunteers, local Taiwanese Merchant Association has also provided the Sun family with financial support. Before, people in the society misunderstood Ciji. After helping the Sun family, I realized that all of you are really assisting others in need. Not many people know that what you guys are actually doing. Therefore, the volunteers' unconditional giving is what really touches me the most. The Taiwan Merchant Association has also a charity fund. We hope to inspire the Taiwanese businessmen to do good deeds, to spread the positive energy around people. This is what I'm hoping for in the future. During the housewarming celebration, the volunteers have prepared meals for the Sun family. Here's wishing you the best in your new home. From this day, your lives will be different. It will be better. <laughs> I wish all three of you good health. <laughs> With laughter and joy, the Sun family is ready to start a new chapter of their lives. Since Chinese New Year is approaching, Beijing City volunteers revisited two different care recipients and their families. One of them is Zhang Chen, who suffers from diabetes insipidus. After receiving Ciji support, she has become more open-minded. The other care recipient is Wei Qizhe. The Wei family was very happy to see the volunteers because they could once again taste the delicious dumplings made by them. Upon seeing Ciji volunteers, Dang Chen insisted on giving each one of them a big hug. Due to suffering from diabetes insipidus, she did not like to interact with people in the past. Ever since the volunteers' monthly visit, she no longer feels shy now. <laughs> Zhang has become more joyful now. Even though the outdoor temperature is only minus 6 degrees Celsius, Zhang and her grandmother sold the volunteers off all the way to the end of the street. <laughs> the last time Wei Qizhe met with volunteers was back in July, when his mother was just remarried. This time his mother is pregnant, and the family is ready to welcome the arrival of a younger sister. The thing that his mother missed the most is the dumplings made by the volunteers. We wrapped dumplings and had a reunion with them. We haven't seen one another for a long time, so I miss them very much. I asked her that day whether she would like us to visit her. She felt very happy, because it had been a long time that no one had visited them. In July, Wei's mother had asked the volunteers to spend time on families who needed more care and didn't have to visit the family every month. This time, they ate dumplings together at the reunion, experiencing the familiar feelings of joy and even gave back their few bamboo coin banks to help others. 
Taichung City volunteer Zhang Zhenli often watches Dai TV and recommends it to her friends. More than 20 years ago, she ran an after-school program and was also busy with City's volunteer work. Therefore, she unintentionally neglected her family and children. It wasn't until after her children grew up did they finally realize that their mother was dedicating her time to help many underprivileged people. Ah, Zhang Zhenli, who has just returned to Taichung from Hualien, is switching her role from either mother to a medical volunteer caring for the seniors. <laughs> Zhang, who once ran an after-school program, is especially capable of counseling underprivileged children. She was once busy with both her work and Tsuji's missions. Therefore, there wasn't much time left to spend with her own children. For a long period of time, my younger sister and I could not accept the fact that our own mother was always helping other people instead of taking care of us. After Zhang's daughter grew up, she has become more understanding of her mother's past decisions. Back then, many disadvantaged children did not take baths or eat regular meals for days. They even skipped school for several days because their parents simply did not care about their schooling. Then, our mother encouraged their parents and even took those children to our home to be bathed. After I grew up, I realized that my mother actually made a lot of sacrifices on her end. In the past, Zhang was eager to do a good job. However, from participating in tea ceremonies, she has learned to reflect upon herself. I wanted to see if I could soften myself, because I was too headstrong. After listening to Dharma Master Jian's teachings, I realized that I did not have to be so unsentimental. I should be gentler in my demeanors. Zhang takes notes from the morning Buddhist teachings regularly and fully supports Dai TV. It does not spread negative messages. It broadcasts news that concerns the society, and its international news is very accurate. Spreading positive energy, Zhang has been walking the Bodhisattva path for more than 10 years already. She is persevering with a keen sense of mission. Indonesia City volunteers have established a sutra copying class in Keraman since May of last year. The volunteers and Tsisaos who have been participating in the class have gained much from the experience. The Tsiji Sutra Copying Class in Keraman has been in operation for eight months already. One sutra verse is the courageous general gets rid of the king's worries. Therefore, the king is joyful. When the general is able to protect the country, the king will feel a peace of mind. Applying this phrase to Tsuji, we can say that when we become Dharma Master Zhenyan's good disciples and carry out Tsuji's work diligently, the master will surely be joyful as well. The class attendees not only copy the sutra, they also take the teachings to heart. This Dania, who is very young, already has her realizations of the sutra verses. My favorite sutra phrase is, Dharma water can purify our minds. That is how people are. When we encourage people to take the Dharma teachings to heart and apply it in their daily lives, this is how they can get rid of negative karma. As the participants read and copy the sutra, they share their realizations with each other and apply the teachings into their daily lives. Tsuji's Dongda Area Workshop was established 14 years ago. Recently, volunteers there have been turning scrap fabrics into practical, colorful dish towels. When she was a child, Mei Suru lost four fingers on her left hand. I was four years old when my hand was pressed by a machine. Medical treatment was backward then, and they just cut my fingers off. So I need tools to work, and I can still use it to keep fabric in place for the needle. Still, she is quite good at making women's garments and is now working at a Ziji workshop in the Dongda area. If it is reused, it will not be wasted. This purple and sky blue bath towel material is left over from factory production. 
Everyone works very hard to make this fabric more beautiful. We just added some different color combinations. Zizi volunteer Lin Feng sold at a workshop for more than 10 years where she made many exquisite handy crafts. The new task in recent months is to reassemble waste fabrics into dish rags. These small dish rags are well received. It will be soft when it hits the water. It can handle a lot of detergent. This is rougher and makes it cleaner. It's better to scrub with this, and it's very good for cleaning. This rag can even be wrapped around the faucet for good effect. The water won't spray or run to the side. The amount of water used has been reduced. Saving resources and recycling waste materials all part of the ingenuity of these local Zhiji volunteers. Zhiji volunteer Chen Xiuzhi has dedicated herself to volunteering with Zhiji. Many people around her are also inspired by her devotion and efforts. Besides volunteering, she has also saved up to donate 30,000 US dollars to Zhiji. After doing the recycling work, my back doesn't feel sore and my body feels better. I have a stronger immune system. I've always been passionate about cooking. After the recycling station was established, I thought that I should learn how to cook vegetarian meals for the volunteers who are here every single day. Especially for the senior volunteers, we can cook the food until it's softer. That way, it's easier for them to chew. Shouzi really considers the recycling station as a second home. She said to me, the kitchen, the cultivation ground, all needed to be clean. I was very touched at the moment. She put lots of devotion and efforts into this place. She's definitely a role model for all of us. When I'm serving as a medical volunteer, I feel joyful the most. As our body is healthy, we don't have to bother the others, right? And at the same time, we can assist patients. Isn't it great to spend your day like this? I thought to myself, if I have enough money, I'll donate them to help more people. When Dhamma Master Zheng Yan visited Yunlin, I handed a donation to Master Zheng Yan. Master asked me, are you willing to give off these savings? I replied, of course, Master Zheng Yan, this is for doing good deeds. It's no use if I kept it with me. To spread a seed of kindness and great love around makes me more content. For the past 10 years, Shouzi have been saving up her living expenses. It was accumulated little by little. This year, she can finally make her wish come true to donate the savings to help more people. Usually the elders felt more secure if they have some assets, but not for her. Being able to let go and serve others, this is a characteristic that is worth learning. A vegetarian food exhibition is being held in Taipei, which started on January 4th. Jingzi Books and Cafe has been invited to promote Jingzi food products at the event. We'll leave you with these images at the end of our program. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.